well welcome to lecture number 8 we are studying the poisson process and we continue studying poisson process in this lecture in last lecture we modeled inter arrivals inter arrival time using exponential distribution here we are going to solve an example today we have cars on a highway and they pass at a rate of 1 over 12 per second this means that the average inter arrival time of the passing cars is is 12 seconds the average inter arrival time inter arrival time is inter arrival time sorry this one inter arrival time is 12 seconds if this inter arrival time is an exponential random variable we are supposed to find the probability that a wombat that crosses the road in 12 seconds survives this means that the wombat the wombat survives only if there is no car from 0 to 12 right so there are two ways of thinking this there is no car in 12 seconds so we model this using a poisson distribution and we put k is equal to 0 here this lambda this lambda is 1 over 12 from this lambda comes from this lambda comes from here this lambda comes from right here and we see that it is minus there it is 1 over 12 and we put it here and we find the probability of no cars passing in the time from 0 to 12 seconds this comes out to be e to the e to the minus 1 the another way of another way of representing this is in terms of inter arrival time and the wombat survives if the inter arrival time is greater than is greater than 12 seconds this means that if a car passes and wombat starts moving there is no car for the next 12 seconds this can be modeled using using exponential distribution so the plot is here this means there is no car or the inter arrival time between the car is 12 seconds or more so here for this exponential distribution on x axis we have time inter arrival time and on y axis we plot probability so inter arrival time is if it is greater than 12 seconds the wombat will definitely survive so we find the probability of t greater than 12 seconds we integrate it from 12 to infinity and we put this pdf inside it and we integrate and uh, after some basic mathematics we reach to the same answer e to the minus 1 that we reached here so there are two ways to solve this we can we can we can opt any of the two part b is that if we have a second wombat that starts walking at the same time but it is even slower than the first wombat it takes 24 minutes oh i i wrote it minutes in fact it's not minutes it's it's seconds so it takes 12 in server well it takes 24 seconds to cross the road and it's a uh, it's a bit more rough and it requires two cars instead of one it requires two cars to kill it so what's the probability that the wombat too survives its wombat so this means that if we have no car in first 24 minutes or one car in 24 minutes this means the wombat will survive but if we have two or more than two cars the wombat 
will die. So the probability of this second wombat surviving is the probability of having no cars in 24 seconds interval or having one car. So we have this plus sign here. So it's actually a union. So it, there is a term minus the joint probability of the two, which is of course zero because we cannot have zero and one cars at the same time. So joint probability is zero. So we add these two together and we reach to this answer. And the final part is that only Wombat 1 survives. This means Wombat 2 has to die. Right. It's a bit more trickier because if Wombat 1 if want Wombat 1 to survive, this means there must be no cars in first 12 seconds period. So we divide it into two periods. The period from 0 to 12 and then from from 12 to 24. So we divide it in two periods, the period from 0 to 12 and the period from 12 to 24. So we want we want to keep Wombat 1 alive and we want to and we want Wombat 2 to die. So this means there should be there should be no cars here. So k should be equal to 0 here. In that way, the Wombat 1 will cross the road and will survive. But here we want, since we want to kill combat number, Wombat number 2, so we want two cars here. So if we have no car in first 12 seconds and two cars in next 12 seconds, will have Wombat 1 survived and Wombat 2 killed. So, the probability of having no car in first 12 seconds is this using Poisson distribution and the probability of having more than two cars in the next 12 seconds interval or it can be written as since these two intervals are independent and we have already studied that Poisson is a memoryless process. There is no the uh, the probability of having two cars here in this interval is independent of what has happened before. So we'll write it as x no car in first 12 seconds and then two cars in 12 seconds or three cars or four cars or infinity cars. So it's hard to compute all these probabilities. Therefore, we write it 1 minus the probability of having no car and having one car in the next 12. This t is equal to this is t is equal to 12, not 2. So this means we want to have this is 12. So having no cars in the first 12 seconds period and second. 12 seconds period we can have two cars three cars four cars or infinity cars passing so we'll write it one minus zero cars no car or one car so if you put these values in a poisson distribution in the in the pmf of a poisson distribution we get this result you can verify it by by repeating all these steps and and I have omitted some details. You can go through through these steps and through the details of these steps, and we'll reach to the same answer. There is a small homework for my students that the par d of par d I haven't solved par d of this problem, and that is the probability of having the probability that only Wombat 2 survives and Wombat number 1 is killed. So this is a uh, this is left as a homework for my students.
okay in the next lectures we will try to solve some more problems related to poisson processes thank you